Elite 11 Finals here in Los Angeles. Night two rolls on alongside Steve Wolfong. I'm Josh Pate. The Bama commit Eli Holstein joining us now fresh off the field. Still pouring sweat. What was it like out there for you? It was a great experience. Uh, coming out to this Elite 11 is definitely a dream come true. Uh, you know, a show up that I've watched ever since I was a little kid. Me and my brother grew up watching this. You know, watching the great quarterbacks, Trevor Lawrence, Tua, Justin Fields, all those type of guys, you know, being in a QB sorority uh, with those guys now is a, is a big thing for me. Eli, you're coming off a great junior season, too. You lead Zachary High to a state championship, and it's a place that has prolific offenses year in and year out. How, what makes it so successful? How's that going to prepare you for Alabama? Uh, the great coaching staff. I really compare our coaching staff to the coaching staff at Alabama. You know, just dominant in the past uh, couple of years. I want to say Zachary's won four state championships in the past seven years. You know, just goes to show how dominant and how consistent our coaching staff is. I believe we have the best coaching staff in Louisiana, without a doubt. Um, I feel like not a lot of people give my offense coordinator, uh, Kenny Langwa, enough credit for what he's done. Uh, his first quarterback at Zachary, Lindsey Scott, went through this Elite 11 circuit, uh, went to LSU, all that type of stuff. And then a uh, quarterback before me, uh, Keelan Brown, uh, he did all this type of stuff as well. You know, Max Preps player of the year, all that type of stuff, went to Memphis. And don't want to brag on myself, but now he's got me, Alabama commit, Elite 11 finalists, all that type of stuff. And so what he's been able to do with all three different types of quarterbacks and just how he's always been able to have an offense that can fit all of us. What about the coaching staff you're about to play for at the next level? Of course, Nick Saban's been at Bama since since you've been very young, and <laughs> yes, you got sir. Bill O'Brien, the offensive coordinator there. What's the interaction been like with that staff? It's been great. Uh, just talking to the, uh, them, especially with the offensive system that they have, you know, how well I'm going to fit into it. And they're always going to gel it to the quarterback that they have. You know, hopefully when I get there, uh, at some point I'll win the job. Uh, you know, they're going to be able to fit an offense around me. Uh, predicate to what I, my strengths, my weaknesses, help me with, out with all that type of stuff is going to be big for me. And they've done it with all different types of quarterbacks from Jalen Hurts to uh, Mac Jones uh, and Bryce Young. They're all different quarterbacks, but they've all been dominant with all the four quarterbacks. Offers rolled in for you early. You at one point were obviously committed to Texas A&M and reopened the process. When did Alabama really emerge as the one for you? And then you took a ton of visits there in the spring and summer and committed. Uh, talk about the finality of that. Yeah, so I, I did zero recruiting during my junior season. Uh, I committed so early to Texas A&M, so I wouldn't be a distraction for me, my teammates, my coaches. I uh, wanted to go 15-0, and win state championship. That's exactly what we did. Uh, and that's why I made the decision early again this summer. I uh, definitely want to go 14-0 and this year because we got a bye week because nobody wants to play us. Uh, you know, 14-0, and going state championships would be a big deal for me, big deal for the city of Zachary, uh, our team, our community, and everything. Uh, and they really emerged uh, after I decommitted. You know, they've been hard on me. Uh, even when I was committed, you know, they, they stayed consistent with me, you know, constantly on me. And their way of recruiting me was going over the offense, see how I would fit into the system, uh, and just talking and interacting with Coach O'Brien, Coach Golden, and especially Coach Saban. Eli Holstein, congratulations on making it this far. Good luck this fall and good luck at Bama next Thanks, year. Sir. Thank you.